Good day everyone, this is Mission 3 of Sniper Elite 5 and a bit of a different video for today. Um, just going to be a bit, bit of a guide or hints and tips on how to snipe, especially in authentic difficulty, uh, where you don't have you know any of the assist that the computer will help you out with. But uh, yeah, I had some people ask in the community to make a video about this, so I'll give it a shot. Uh, this is also a live commentary while recording, so apologies if my words are mumbled up or stuffed up, but uh, we'll see how we go. And also, we're using a sniper rifle, the 1903 or M1903, uh, without a suppressor. So we'll need to wait for the sound mask of a plane flying overhead to mask our shots. Otherwise, the enemy is going to know we're here. Um, it pretty much is uh, what happens when you start the game for the first time. You have no suppressor, so I thought we'll do that as well. So in this map, uh, we know there's a lot of snipers, but four Staff at the beginning. Are. Uh, here's one for example, if you can just see through the fog might be able to at 380 or so meters away. Now, there's a plane goes ahead. Um, if I was to bring out the sniper rifle and say if I was going to shoot right now, it won't work because we haven't ranged it in accordingly. So it's just under 400 meters. We range it in, as you can see on the right hand side, ranging to about 400 or so. Now, even if we were still to shoot in the middle across, say it won't hit because you can see the two white indicators, one to the top, one to the right of the scope. That would actually tell you where the bullet should hit. It would hit the shot. So use that more than the crosshair itself. Uh, to emphasize this further, if we were to change to a lower difficulty from Authentic to Sniper Elite, and then when the computer gives us some assistance, it would actually show us where the bullet will hit. Um, you can find a target, and there he is, through the fog. Okay, so you can see a kill shot, but not in the middle of the crosshair. So a bit to the left and a bit to the up, a bit up, sorry. But as you can see, where the two white lines intersect is where the um, bullet should hit. Now, we can emphasize that even more if I was to range this way different distance. So if I was to do, let's like, say, a 800 meter shot and then do empty lung, you can see even the game is now drawing the two lines or show as it indicates to get the shot. Now, he is moving, so that's why it's a bit off center. But as you can see, you use the two uh, indicators on the top and the right to actually line up the shot and that's uh, what you need to do to get those uh, kills. So let's see if we can get this shot now. But got to wait for the plane to fly overhead. That's one thing I tend to forget about uh, you know needing the um, to wait for the plane. Just change it back to authentic difficulty. But uh, yeah, with no suppressor, you need something to master sound. So normally it's a plane overhead or it could be like a generator that you cause of an issue or you're in a truck. I uh, mean, you was it sabotage the engine in some way? But uh, let's see if we can get a shot. Hopefully we can get a plane coming soon. Okay. Just uh, no, nothing yet. Now I'm also conscious that if the sniper looks towards my direction, I may stop zooming in because I don't want him to see my sniper glint. Same way that you see his sniper glint as well. Because um, if you hold onto it for too long on the enemy, they will spot you and try to take you out. Okay, here comes the plane. Oh, gonna be a bit tricky. Let's see if you can get a shot. Ooh, directly into the side of the head. Nicely done. Okay, and then definitely use a sound mask there, so definitely, definitely did help in that case. Okay, I was using regular ammunition, um, but for long range shots, I would recommend match ammunition um, because they have a reduced bullet drop. Downside is that it does cause a louder shot to be made, so keep that in mind. So, um, yeah, definitely you're going to use sound mask when you can. Okay, this sniper is what 419, so we range it once again to 400 meters. As you can see, due to the distance, and I'm assuming that shooting over a body of water, it's gonna have some wind as well to cause a bit of an issue. So need to wait. Okay, I think this sniper is actually gonna walk around to the back of this tower, so I don't think we can get him unless he stands still and get a plane soon. Uh, also, doesn't help that there's fog coming up right now too, so. Yeah, not the best time to shoot. Um, let's see if we can find another sniper or another enemy to take out. Um, not there. Okay. Oh, we got a plane. I might as well take this guy out when the plane's coming ahead. 
So you can see that one was actually perfectly with the crosshairs directly in the center. So the bullet drop and the wind didn't really come into effect. I think the match ammunition helped in that case as well. So if you look aiming down here, it seems perfectly fine. If I was to change back to regular ammunition, let's see if that would actually show if the shot would have deviated from the middle of the crosshair. No, not too much because it's uh, you know pretty much a close range shot for the M1903 that we're using. Uh, we've got another enemy there. I think I'll go back to match ammunition. I think that sniper is back on the left. Okay, he's right there. Okay, he's moving to about a year or so. So yeah, it's one thing I tend to kind of forget is that since I've been playing this game so much with suppressors on the sniper rifle, uh, I don't really take them into consideration of having to master the sound. But uh, when you do start off the game, first of all, you don't have that luxury of a suppressor on the sniper rifle. On some sniper rifles though, I mean. But uh, the M1903, yeah, there's no suppressor to begin with. You have to unlock it through playing the game quite a bit. Okay, here we go. We got sound mask coming. Let's see if you can line up the shot nicely. Nicely done. So we got two more snipers to deal with. Uh, we got one here, uh, he walks away a bit and comes back now and then, so it might be tricky to time it correctly with a plane that flies overhead. Also, if you're quite some distance away from any other enemies, uh, you should be fine from taking the shot um, without the sound mask, but... Uh, I guess to be a proper sniper, you do want to make sure that nobody hears your shot anyway. So hopefully this helped in some way in regards to getting those long range kills. If you've got any questions or maybe you've got anything to comment about it, please feel free to do so. But besides that, hopefully you get some good long range kills.